This is a cut piece of an old sewage pipeline. It's a cut piece. After years, you see what happens to the sewage system. Okay, now. We are going to study something about colon today. Okay. And how one of our products, Mycovegi, can help us maintain the health of this major organ. Now, if you know in India or in Asia, okay. In India or in Asia, when we cook food, we have lots of spices. Do you know this? Yeah? Why? We like them. It's not only about taste. It's got a major significance on your health. Now for that, I need to explain you how you are made. Now, if I take a pipe, okay, a pipe, like this, okay, actually, you are like this pipe. A pipe compressed. A pipe completely compressed. Totally open and slatched. To be like this, what we are. Now, from this, you have to understand that means you're open from one side and you open from the other side. Okay. For example, now let's take this. Okay. This is a big pipe. Now, this is what you are. The area is equivalent to a tennis court. So if I open this up, spread it up, you are like a tennis court. That's so huge, you know. Now, if we are like this open, how does a body get separated into different parts? So, every, this is the open part. And then inside here is the body parts. This is outside, okay? So from your mouth, right? There is there are sphincters, there are control systems. They, they divide you into little little compartments. Okay? So your mouth to your esophagus one compartment. Then your esophagus to your start of the stomach, another is a sphincter. From your stomach to your Duodenum and your small intestine, another sphincter. From your small intestine to your large intestine, another sphincter. And then you go down, you have another sphincter here. Now these sphincters, these 
muscles, they contract. A tie sú tam svaly, ktoré sa stiahujú. So while you're chewing food, only this is open. Takže keď žubáme jedlo, iba tá prvá časť je otvorená. After the job is done here, it passes here. Keď je tá robota hotová, ide to do ďalšej časti. And then it goes here, it opens, it goes here. A keď je to hotové, znova sa tu otvára a ide to ďalej. And the stuff here, it is, uh, they turn into small things. To and then it goes na from here into. A znova ide ďalej. So you understand, you are a pipe. Takže sme potrubia. This is very, very important to know. A je veľmi, veľmi dôležité, aby sme to vedeli. Because your health, lebo vaše zdravie, your complete health depends on how clean this pipe is. Vaše zdravie veľmi závisí od toho, ako je toto potrubie čisté. If this pipe gets blocked, ak sa toto potrubie upchá, you will have disease of that little, little compartments. Budete mať chore tie jednotlivé časti. Yeah? Any compartment problem, you have a disease of that compartment. Ak v nejakej časti nastane problém, máte chorobu tej časti. OK, understand this? Easy? Rozumiete to, môj, to je jednoduché. OK, now, why, why do Indians or Asians use spices in their food? Prečo Indovia a ľudia v Ázii používajú korenia v jedlách? Usually spices contain aromatic oils. Obvykle korenia obsahujú aromatické oleje. These oils are good to kill certain types of bacteria. A tieto oleje sú dobré na to, aby zabali určité druhy baktérií. They are good to lubricate the system. Sú dobré na to, aby tak prevastili systém. They are good to digest your food. A sú dobré na to, aby pomohli straviť jedlo. So out of so many spices, takže z toľkých korení, some spices we use always in our food. Niektoré z nich sú také, ktoré vždy používame v našich jedlách. For example, garlic. Napríklad cesna. It's an amazing spice. Je to fantastické, je to baječné korenie. You will definitely find it in food. A určite to potrebujeme, potrebujete mať v jedle. It has got its own amazing properties. A má svoje úžasné vlastnosti. Now, to as I showed you, this is the structure. Toto je štruktúra, ako som už spomínal. So your esophagus, your stomach, Takže pažera, žaludok, yes, small intestine, large intestine, veľké hrubé črevo, tiché črevo, hrubé črevo. And your colon. A hrubé črevo. These are the main, your main organ, the main elementary tract. We call. Hlavné časti, hlavné orgány. Now, there are assets, or you can say supporting organs that support the... A sú tu podporné orgány. Like the liver, pancreas, gallbladder. Pancreas, žočník. They help in the digestion. Pomáhajú v trávení. So if something is wrong here, they also get affected. A, a keď je niečo zlé v spolnej časti, aj oni sú ovplyvnené. OK, now. Now you have to understand the large intestine and the small intestine. Potrebujeme pochopiť hrubé črevo a tenké črevo. You know, the small intestine is like curled around 25 meters long. Tenké črevo je dlho okolo 25 metrov. Yeah. And the large intestine is like this, where it stores all your undigested food. A hrubé črevo skladuje všetky nestrávené jedlá. So your absorption of your nutrients is done here. Takže v tenkom čreve prechádza vstrebávanie vitamínov. And your elimination begins from here. A eliminácia, vylúčovanie začína v tom hrubom čreve. So this colon is going up. Takže to ide napríklad v hore. So it's called ascending colon. Takže to je stúpajúce črevo. This is transverse, so it is called transverse colon. Priečné, čiže to je sa volá takej. This is going down. A toto ide dole. So descending colon. Takže klesajúce. Then you have an S-shaped structure of the colon, that is the sigmoid colon. Toto neviem preložiť, sa ospredlňuje. Nedaj kanál časej. Yeah. Then you have last is the anal canal. A posledné je ten záverečný kanál, anál. You need to know a little anatomy, ok? Potrebujete poznať trošku anatomiu. Because if you don't know what you are inside, lebo ak neviete, čo máte vnútri, you will never know what to do inside. Nebudete nikdy vedieť, čo treba, ako tomu pomôcť, čo treba urobiť. Now, colon cancer, a rakovina, šriev, is spreading across the globe. sa veľmi rozširuje po celom svete. And if you look at it, it comes from the wall of the a keď sa na to pozrite, že prečo, pochádza z povrchu čreva. The cells, they outgrow from the wall. Sú tam 
bunky, ktoré vyrastajú na povrchu čreva. Yeah, the lymphatics are trying to take it out. It starts growing. Here you see how it grows. Vidíte, ako to môže narastať? Now, understand. You will not even realize you have a cancer. A vy si ne, ani nemôžete, neuvedom, nemôžete uvedomiť, že máte rakovinu. Till this stage also. A dokonca ešte aj po toto štádiu. You would think you are having just constipation. Môžete si myslieť, že máte iba zápku. Because this is blocking your track. Lebo toto blokuje vašu cestu. So you feel it's just simple constipation. A máte pocit, že to je jednoduchá zápka. You could have some bleeding in your stools. Možno máte krv v stolici. And you could relate it to some type of colitis, simple. A možno si myslíte, že to je nejaká kolitida. But you would never even imagine that a cancer is growing inside. A nikdy by si si ani nepredstavili, že vnútri môže narastať rakovina. It is said that after the age of 45, hovorí sa, že po veku 45 rokov, as a regular examination of your body, pravidelná kontrola tela, you need to do a colonoscopy. Potrebujete si dávať robiť kolonoskopiu. Because that will help you see what you cannot see. Lebo to vám pomôže vidieť to, čo nevidíte sami. In colonoscopy, they use a scope and they check inside. Pri colonoscopy používajú náradie, ktoré im umožňuje vidieť dovnútra. So through the camera they check if everything is okay. Takže cez kameru vedia skontrolovať, či je všetko v poriadku. Now, if you look at it, it is one of the major cause of morbidity and mortality in the world today. Keď sa tu pozrieme, tak tá rakovina čriev je hlavnou príčinou umrtí po celom svete. Nine percent of the cancers across the are related to colon cancer. It is the third most common cancer worldwide. To tretia najbežnejšia, tretí najbežnejší druh rakoviny na celom svete. Fourth most common cause of death. A všeobecne štvrtá najčastejšia príčina umrtí. And it affects both gender, male and female, equal. Rovnako ofrenuje aj mužov, aj ženy. Now, These are the when you do colonoscopy, you need to you get to find out so many things inside the colon, not only cancer, many other things. Pri colonoscopy nie kontrolujú iba to, či máte rakovinu alebo nie, kontrolujú mnohé iné veci. So there are many more conditions that one can suffer from in colon. Veľa iných stavov alebo chorob, ktoré človek môže mať. Could be simple thing like appendicitis. Môže to byť jednoducho zápas lebo čreva. Yeah, it could be ulcerative colitis. Môže to byť kolitída. Ulcers means wound. Wound, ulcer je to ako vred. Injury inside your colon. Vredovú kolitídu. Then there could be adhesions. Adhesions means sticking together. Či sú zlepené čreva. Ok. Adhesiony ako prionávosť. Yes, so then that, if that happens, your food is not easily passing through. Lebo keď sa toto udeje, potom to jedlo nemôže jednoducho prechádzať tou cestou, ktorou potrebuje prejsť. You could get polyps. Môžete mať polypy. Like you have nasal polyps, you could get polyps there too. Ako sú nosné dutinie polypy, tak isto môžu byť aj tam. If they grow big, they can actually block your system. A ak vyrastú, ak narastú viac, ako je potrebné, tak môžu zablokovať cestu s trevami. Yeah, autoimmune conditions like Crohn's disease. A potom je tam aj možnosť autoimmune koroby, kronová koroba. Cancer and diverticulitis. Je tam rakovita a diverticulitia. Also piles, fissures and fistulas. Also? Piles, hemorrhoids. Takisto hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids, fistulas. Okay, you don't know what fistula is? Okay, yeah. Okay, so a lot of conditions of the anal canal also. Takže ešte rôzne stavy toho konečníka. Now, I want you to see how the body actually begins its process of digestion. Ja chcem, aby sme, aby som vám ukázal, aby ste pochopili, ako telo začína proces trávenia. So when a child, when a newborn child is... Takže ak novonarodené dieťa... ...is going to eat food... ...ide jesť jedlo... The whole cycle of the food you need to understand and see what happens. Potrebujete vidieť, ako celý ten proces jedla v teličku prebieha. This little thing will help you understand what happens to the big body also. Tá malá vec vám pomôže pochopiť, ako je to jeho veľkom trávať. You have the volume system. Okay, now you need to listen to it and see also, okay? Takže pozerajte a počúvajte. Teeth grind up the food. Then special glands under the tongue pump out saliva. 
to help break down and lubricate the food on its 12-hour, 13-foot journey through the gut. It'll pass from the stomach into the coils of the small intestine before finally passing into the large intestine. Waves of contracting muscle keep the food moving, a process called peristalsis. These contractions are so powerful, we can even eat it upside down. For the first time, a new camera shows a high definition view of how food travels through our bodies and into our stomachs. <coughs> That's your stomach. Total child dog. Food enters the stomach through a hole in the top. <laughs> the stomach is a bag of muscle that churns, squashes, and squeezes food into it. So I'm going to the stomach. The acid is breaking the food down. The acid is breaking the food down. And the acid is breaking the food down. Without it, the acids could digest parts of the stomach itself, causing stomach ulcers. These are those sphincters I told you. The food enters the small intestine. The interior wall of the small intestine is lined with millions of microscopic projections called the These increase the surface area of the gut making it easy to absorb nutrients. This is you need to know. First, the pancreas pumps out the juice that neutralizes stomach acid. <laughs> that is happening inside, okay? Don't do that. Now, the pancreas by the all secrete juices in digestion. The bile, the pancreas, the It takes 12 hours for food to travel. Okay, that's a long time. So what you eat remains with you for 12 hours. Okay, now, the reason I showed you that, because we never want to see something that is real, dirty. If you cannot see something dirty, can you keep something dirty here? You need to have a clean, clean, clean colon. And it is possible for you to do that. Now, if you look at the diseases, the major diseases, they are all related to your elementary canal. Everything related to your digestion. You know, from your simple, you know, uh, condition like 
your gastroesophageal reflux disease, your uh, GERD. Uh, yeah. Your stomach ulcers. Yeah. Could be your diabetes, your pancreas. Could be your gallstones, your gallbladder. You go down, you have the duodenum. You could have ulcers there. You move down. Could be affecting your uh, liver. Yeah, with fatty liver. And other conditions. You go down and it is all a place where you just can have diseases. Now, that's why we need to we have a lifestyle. We need to choose and the right products that we put into our stomach. By stuffing something only because you like it here can actually damage everything here. We at the action have a wide range of herbal products, natural products. You know, from Rishi to our spirulina. Everything is going to travel through this track, okay? And being alkaline, it's also going to neutralize the acids. So you have many options to choose from. From cereals rich in spirulina to various types of coffee because coffee also can heal you and clean you. Same the tea can do. It can help you clean your system. You have various types of juices from Morenzi, Rosel, Cordipay. Everything for your gut. Now, we are going to study about this amazing product, microbiome. Now it says it's a high fiber food supplement. Now, it includes a lot of vegetables, mushrooms, spirulina, green tea, mulberry tea, yeah, so many things. And also spices. Now, it said it is low in fat. Sugar free. It's cholesterol free. Yeah, high in both soluble and insoluble fiber. Now I'll explain you that why you need fiber. Uh, and why you need vitamin C there? Uh, yeah, calcium and iron also. Now, again coming back here. If you have this big field, tennis court, okay? And it gets dirty. How will you clean this up? What would you need? Yes, broom. Very good. You need a broom. Yeah? Water. Yeah, water. First you clean it up, then you water it. Yes or no? Very important. Yeah, brooming or brush. It's important to take it off, clean it off. Yeah? Very, very important. Now this brush or broom, I can call them fibers. If you need to clean your gut, you need fibers. These fibers actually go and clean up your gut. Vegetables, they all contain fiber. 
Fruits contain fiber. But that is not a major part of diet now. We, for, we go for grinded stuff where there is no fiber. And that is the problem where it's not getting cleaned. Now, what's so special about micro veggie? Čo je tak špeciálne na mikoveči? Now it's loaded with 23 ingredients. Je to nabúchané 23 rôznymi zložkami. 23 ingredients packed in one bottle. 23 zložiek je naplnený v jednej špatuli. Remember back in India I said we cook with lot of ingredients. A spomente si, ako som hovoril, že v Indii, keď varíme, je tam veľa zložiek. This, that and we make a mixture. A vytvorí sa taký mix z nich. And that is very important. This is something like that. One, number one ingredient. Číslo jedna. The psyllium. Plantico psyllium, grain. Je to psyllium. Je to zrno. No. Ale je to vláknina. Do you know what this is? Viete, čo to je? Yes. Skoro co. We have name in Slovenia. Right? Yeah. Now, this is like it swells up after taking water. It's fiber. So basically, when you take this, it's going to go into your colon or into your uh, elementary tract. Yeah, it's going to use the fluid there. Swell up a little bit. And Come in, come in, sir. And go to clean it up. A postupne čistí. This is Cestu, very, very important. A cestu čistí. To je veľmi dôležité. Today, worldwide, dnes celosvetovo, it is used for constipation, relief constipation. Pri zátke. People use it to pass, you know, have good bowel movements. Ľudia to používajú, aby mali dobré pohyby čvier. It's kind of neutral in taste. Je to ako druh výživy. Yeah? Now, this is one very good and powerful ingredient in mycovegi. A toto je veľmi silná zložka mycovegi. And that is why it can help in cleaning up your whole system. A preto vám môže pomôcť pri čistení systému. The second. A druhé. No, this is how. Now, when you take plantego psyllium, remember. Ešte moment. Keď užívate psyllium, alebo skoro cel, pamätajte si. You need to take a lot of water along with it. Užívajte skoro s tým veľa vody. Píte veľa vody. Because if you don't take a lot of water. Lebo ak si nedáte dostatok vody s tým. The same stuff is going to take the water from your intestines. Ono si to vezme z tých čvie, tú tekutinu, ktorá tam je. And might get dried up there itself. A môže to príliš vysúšiť. Yeah, so drink a lot of water. That is why we say when you take micro veggie, you at least supplement yourself with two glasses of water. Okay, now. Any, any issue? Okay. Second ingredient. Celery. Yeah, you definitely have it in food, but you definitely also have it in micro veggie. Máte ho v jedle, možno užívate, ale určite ho máte v mikoveči. A plant sauce? Sú to rastlinné časti. Alkaline? Je to alkalické. It neutralizes your acid in your gut. Vyševuje kyslosť vo vašich črevách. Yeah? Now. With celery... Neutralizuje. Celery is again fiber, okay? Je to znova vláknina. Now. You have mulberry leaf. Now this, and there's one more leaf that is going to follow. They are very good for your cleaning of the gut. You know your gut could be infested with, you know, worms. Yeah, could be tapeworm, your ascaris, you know, different types of worms. There are, there are, uh, you can say, parasites, what we call. They feed on you. They feed on the blood. So, using a leaf like the mulberry leaf, it's like to kill those uh, worms. 
napomáha, ako keby zabiť tieto parazity. It is very good, especially in children. Je to veľmi dobré, hlavne pri deťoch. Or people who eat fast food. Alebo u ľudí, ktorí radi jedia fast foodové jedlá. It helps in cleaning up the gut. It also has fiber again. So mulberry leaf, very very good. Okay, along with this, this is noni leaf. Noni has been said to have anti-inflammatory effect. So when the process of digestion, there is possibility of inflammation also. Using a fiber like noni leaf. That has some qualities of the noni itself. It can actually help in killing the parasites. It can also help in reducing inflammation. Again, fiber, so it just passes through. Okay, now. Ginkgo leaf. Sorry. Okay, ginkgo leaf. Ginkgo biloba. Okay, no. Now, ginkgo leaf is also very good. Same properties like mulberry leaf and noni leaf. But it also has something that stimulates the peristalsis of your body. So it can actually help the movement of the gut. And so it can help in curing or healing constipation. Again, fiber. It does its job as cleaning also. Yeah. This is how the tree looks like. Okay, now. Ginger. Myko veggie has ginger in it. There is rarely an Indian family that cooks food without ginger. Ginger has good digestive elements. You know, sometimes your gut can accumulate mucus. This mucus can prevent the whole process of digestion. Ginger is something that can break up the mucus. It can stimulate the cells to secrete better. So that now your pancreas, your gallbladder, your liver can secrete better. So Myko Veggie has ginger in it. It's got lemongrass in it. Mm, now lemongrass, very good. As the name suggests, yeah, it's a grass. Long, long fibers. So rich in fiber. Has, you can say, aromatic oil. I told you oil is very important for lubrication. This oil can kill the harmful bacteria. If there is dryness, which can cause constipation, the ingredients of lemongrass can actually start lubricating your system. Now, remember your gut is storing your food before it throws it out. So a lot of people can complain of gas. Yeah. 
that that is one major problem people have but something like lemongrass in, can help take care of that because those bacteria that produce gas are reduced and since the you know the whole process of uh, you can say putrefaction or you know is reduced so the stuff that is lying in your in gut now is not producing so many toxins which then do not enter into your system. So very very important ingredient. Yeah. You, there are a lot of aromatic oils of lemongrass people. Okay. Then now there are a range of mushrooms. Myco veggie is packed with mushrooms. The shiitake mushroom. They, they have nutrients that you need. Uh, mushrooms are very easy to digest. You know, during the process of cleaning, we lose a lot of nutrients also. And we need to supply nutrients also. That is why we have the combination of mushroom and microvegi. Shitake. Yeah, you actually get them in the market, but now that is your food now. Then you have the lipophyllium mushroom. It's another type of nutritious mushroom. Then you have Saint George mushroom. Again, nutritious mushroom. Then you have lion's mane. Now, why should you have lion's mane mushroom in Mycovegi? Now, you need to also understand that the whole intestine where the absorption takes place is richly supplied by blood vessels. So that you know the uh, absorbed thing can go into the blood. The second important thing is also supplied with nerve fibers. Now nerve fibers are very important. I always say you have two types of intelligence. One that comes from the brain and the second one comes from your gut. You say you have a sixth sense, you have a gut feeling. There is a huge plexus of nerves, huge. If you can maintain the health of this part, your overall feeling of wellness is improved. You know, now, understand, people who have problems here will definitely complain about, you know, not having the energy, fatigue, their mental functions, the ability to decide, Neurologically, they start deteriorating in their functions. So while while you are using mycovegi, if it has lion's mane in it, in it, it's also nourishing your nerves. As you know. Lion's mane is very, very good for your nervous system. It can rebuild up your nervous system. Okay, so one mushroom that is already there in Mycovegi. Very, very good for children. 
je veľmi, veľmi dobré pre deti. Because you can improve their ability to think. Môžete zvýšiť ich schopnosť myslieť. Yes. No. Yeah, this is... Okay, then you have the oyster mushroom. Yeah. Again, back with nutritional value. It is one of the ingredients of mycovegi. Yeah. Then you have the grey oyster mushroom. Yeah. Now, what does this basically do? It's rich in nutrients. Yeah, and that is why if you look at it, uh, like any other mushroom, it helps in rebuilding your lost nutrients in your gut. You also have the split gill mushroom. A je tu ďalšia huba, taká rozvetvená, ako vidíte. Very commonly used to cook dishes. Veľmi, u nich sa veľmi často používa pri varení. This has again a very good effect on your peristalsis. A toto aj vďaka svojmu tvaru má veľmi dobrý vplyv na peristaltiku, na pohyby čriev. We all know mushrooms are functional foods. Veľmi dobre vieme, že huby sú funkčná potravina. They have a specific function that they perform. Majú špecifickú funkciu, ktorú splňajú. Combining all the different varieties of mushroom a, in mycovegi. A kombinovaním všetkých týchto spomenutých druhov húb mycovegi is the most amazing thing that mycovegi can offer. Je tá najúžasnejšia vec, ktorú mycovegi ponúka. Yeah. Now, corn, sweet corn. <laughs> Sladká kukurica. Again, you know cornflakes, right? Poznáte cornflakes, že? You, you know Kellogg's. Kellogg's? Kellogg's? Yeah, People don't know Kellogg's brand of cornflakes? No. Do you know Kellogg's? Okay. The person who wanted to feed people with fiber. He wanted children to take fiber. So he started a brand called Kellogg's. Conflicts. And he started promoting that as your breakfast food. In simple word, it was fiber that he wanted to send him. Sweet corn is amazing to actually clean up your gut. Yeah. Lime. Lemon. Citron. Microvegi contains lemon. Microvegi obsahuje citron. Now I don't need to explain you why do you need lemon in cleaning. Ja nechcem vysvetľovať prečo potrebujete pri čistení ten citron. Because cleaning is done amazingly if you have lemon in it. You can, if lemon is there, you can clean good. Lebo viete, že ak máte citron, Yeah, lemon is loaded with vitamin C. Citron je nabitý vitamínom C. Vitamin C can help to take out the clogged vessels. To má schopnosť uvoľniť obchaté cievy. Yeah, remember your gut is actually digesting all the slimy, oily stuff. Viete, že tu prebieha v trávacom trakte trávenie všetkého toho premasteného a prekoradeného jedla. Something like lemon cleans up the oil. A niečo ako citrón čistí ten olej. So it is very, very important that your fiber, basically for cleaning, should contain lemon. A je veľmi dôležité, aby tá vlákina obsahovala aj citrón. Lemon also stimulates your peristalsis. A citrón taktiež povzbudzuje peristaltiku. In India, we in this field of Ayurveda, we give every patient who suffers from digestive system problems, uh, you know, a combination with lemon. If you look at from antacids that have lemon, to also laxatives with lemon are better. Myco veggie has lemon in it. Okay. It's got orange in it. Yeah. So again, now you understand uh, it's a citrus fruit. 
Fiber plus vitamin C. Vitamin C is very, very important to open up your vessels. Vitamin C je veľmi, veľmi dôležitý na to, aby sme pomohli otvárať sa cieľa. Even cardiologist, if you are having a cardiac condition, will prescribe you vitamin C. Dokonca kardiologovia, ktorí, keď máte problémy so srdcom, vám predpísujú vitamin C. Vitamin C actually opens up your pores. Lebo vitamin C otvára vaše pory. So we have two, lemon and orange in it. Takže máme tam citrón a pomaranč. Ok. Then you have Spirulina. Spirulina. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. So you don't need to force somebody to take spirulina individually. Give them micro veggie and you're actually also giving spirulina. Micro veggie obsahuje tiež spirulina. Now, when you eat food, food travels like this, mixes with acids, Jedlo takto cestuje, zmiešava sa s kyselinou. So by the time it comes here, a do toho času, kým sa dostane sem, it's very acidic. Je veľmi kyslé. It's, you know, it actually harms the tissue here, the walls. Dokonca až tak, že môže poškodzovať stenu čriev. So there we have, you know, if you look at, we have these villi-like structure, you know. Takže keď máme tú štruktúru, ako villa štruktúru, také tie kolky. So, Why you need to clean this up? It's very important because sometimes food gets stuck here. To potrebujeme čistiť, lebo môže tu na sa zastaviť to jedlo. Okay, sometimes food gets stuck here. Môže sa tam vlastne upchať tie kolky, ten pojík sa zastaví v týchto častiach. And for a long, long time it remains there. A môže tam dlhý čas sa zostávať. If your gut is not cleaning up well, it could remain there for years. A ak nie je dobre čistené vaše črevo, môže tam zotrvať roky. And from here it produces Toxins, a odtiaľ produkuje toxíny, which go into the blood. ktoré idú do krvi. Yeah? This is very important to clean this up. Takže je dôležité, aby sme to čistili. Now the whole environment here is more acidic. A celé to prostredie tu vnútri je viac zakyslené. Because there is a lot of bacteria here. Lebo je tam veľa baktérií. Completely feeding on your remaining food. A kompletne vyživujú to jedlo, ktoré tu ostáva. So why spirulina gives you the alkaline environment? Because in an alkaline environment, bacteria are not going to thrive. Yeah. So your gas, your flatulence, and all those problems. You know, acid is like it can make the stool harder. Keď je príliš prekyslené prostredie, tak robí stolicu tvrdou. A telo potrebuje vyprodukovať hlieny potom. Ale ak máme alkalické jedlo, on podporuje telo, aby produkoval ten hlieň. Takže pomáha aj pri zápke. Now remember, it is rich in iron. A spirulina je bohatá na železo. Yeah. Iron also oxidizes faster. A iron, no, železo skôr hrdzavie. Yeah. So if there is... Oxiduje. Yeah. So if there is a lot of bacteria... Ak je tam veľa bakterií... Yeah. This bacteria also now reduce because of iron. Vďaka tomu železu sa znižuje množstvo bakterií. So, overall spirulina... Takže celkovo spirulina helps in maintaining the gut health. Pomáha udržiavať zdravie čriev. Research on spirulina says a výskum o spiruline hovorí the people who have consumed spirulina že tí ľudia, ktorí konzumujú spirulinu for a period of say around 2-3 years continuously počas 2-3 rokov stále, neustále have found a drastic effect in the health of their colon sa im drasticky zlepšilo zdravie čriev. Ok, so we have that in Mycovegy. A toto máme v Mycovegy. Now, along with that we have green tea. A spolu s tým máme aj zelený čaj. Now, we all know tea is good. Všetci vieme, že čaj je dobrý. Tea can flush out. Čaj môže vyplaviť. But having green tea in Mycovegy Ale to, že máme zelený čaj v Mycovegy is like sending the fibers inside je ako, že posielame dovnútra vlákninu a 
a uh, chceme, aby jedlo si, pardon, uh, telo si vytvorilo vlastný čaj. This again helps in cleaning. Toto tiež pomáha na čistenie. Tea is astringent in taste. Uh, Lime, čaj in je taste. kyslý, je až taký trpký s no. chuťou. Because it is bland, a tým, že bland, because it has no taste, uh, je bez chuti, it actually closes down the pores, which uh, actually secrete juices. Kvôli tomu zatvára tie pory, ktoré produ produkujú šťavy. Yeah. Then we have tangerine peel. Potom máme kvoru mandarin, z mandarinky. The peel of that. Kvoru z toho. That's in again mycovegi. A znova je to mycovegi. Very, very good as an anti-helminthic for parasites. Je to veľmi dobrý na parazity. It contains aromatic oils. Obsahuje aromatické oleje. Yeah, so again a fantastic combination. Je to fantastická kombinácia. Then you have cinnamon. Potom tam máte škoricu. Again a spice that helps in maintaining your gut health. Znova je to niečo, čo pomáha udržať zdravie vašich čriev. Cinnamon has said to actually stimulate the healing of uh, ulcers. You know, so if there is some injury, something, cinnamon can actually stimulate the healing process. Yeah, can help kill bacteria. Yeah, so again, a fantastic combination. Then you have star anise. Have you seen this? Badia, no? Badian. It's an it's a Indian word, Badian. Badian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In Badian. So this is again an aromatic oil. It is rich in aromatic oil. It's a spice. It stimulates your digestive process. Fantastic for your system. Again. Glove. Yeah. If cloud can do amazing things in your oral cavity, it can kill and relieve your tooth pain. Imagine what it can do if it travels through the gut. It is one of the most common things that we use back in India in tea. In tea, we, we. Je to najčastejšia vec, ktorú oni používajú pri čaji. Can you explain how you use cloth? Because uh, it is not used this way here. Yeah, we, we use, when we boil uh, water and put tea. Keď uh, oni si varia čaj a dajú ho teda do vriacej vody, dajú čaj. We take, if, our, if you're making two cups of tea. Keď si robíte dve šálky čaju. So we take four cups of water. Uh, dávame dva pohare vody. Put the tea. The black tea or the green tea, whatever you want. Boil it up till it only two cups remain. Boil it up till two cups remain. That is the rule of boiling any beverage. So four becomes two. So when it is four, you add at least four or five of cloves into it. There's two ways people, some people crush it and put it. Some people who want the milder taste can actually put the whole one. This is very, very common. You will find everybody drinking tea will always use this in India, Japan, China. I'm telling you, it's got an amazing healing system killing bacteria that are harmful in your gut. Mycovegi has it, okay? Now, also we use it only to mouth. For mouth, we, we use it for, uh, if you, yeah, if you can put one in your mouth. Yeah, it helps in taking care of the foul breath and also 
to clean up your oral cavity after food. Celú ústnú dutinu vám to vyčistí a takisto, ak sú tam pachy, tak to neutralizuje. Like it's very common, people carry a few of them and just put one in the mouth. Je to tam bežné, že ľudia aj majú so sebou pár kúskou chrypšetkou a si dajú do ústnú. Okay, so we have it in microwave. A toto je obsiahnuté v microwave. I'm sure you understood 23 ingredients packed in one supplement. Verím, že ste pochopili, že 23 rôznych složiek je obsiahnutý v microwave produkte. That is amazing. Toto je báječné. That is a very similar to the concept of Ayurveda. A toto je veľmi podobné konceptu Ayurvedy. In Ayurveda, we believe if you combine two or more herbs together, v Ayurvede vedia, vedia, že ak skombinujú dve alebo viac zložiek dokopy, you create, you create a new, new product. dve bylíňa viac, vytvoria nový produkt. The whole thing then travels into your system. A keď potom to cestuje v našom systéme tela, it's like serving a buffet out there. A to je ako servírovanie bufetu nejakého v tele. So that your system can take what it wants. A naše telo si vezme to, čo potrebuje. Yeah? So again, This combination. How do you use it? Takže táto kombinácia. A ako to použiť? Now, microvegi is for the health of your colon. Takže microvegi je pre zdravie vašho treba. Now, you need to use minimum one scoop. Minimum jednu odmerku potrebujete použiť. So, minimum one to two scoops, that's five to ten grams. Čiže na 5 až, to je 5 až 10 gramov, je na dve odmerky. With a glass of normal, means cold normal water, room temperature water. Do pohára s vodou teploty. Little warm water. Izbové teploty. Stir it well. Premiešajte to. And remember, take it immediately. A môžete si dať hneď. Ok, because remember, it's got plantagosilium. Lebo dajte si to hneď, pretože obsahuje to psilium, plantago, to je skoro cel. If you're going to wait, it is going to absorb. Ak počkáte, ono to zúsne. The reason we are putting water is only to pass it through our piece of things. A to, že tam dávame vodu, je len na to, aby sme to mali ako spôsob, ako to tam dostať, ako cestový prostriedok. So you put water, finish. Takže dáte vodu, rozmiešate a vypijete. Because once it goes here, then you can drink a lot of water. Lebo už keď sa to dostane sem, môžete piť veľa vody. Then let it travel across. A potom nech si cestuje. Remember, one, one and a half hour, that stuff is going to remain in your stomach. One hour to one and a half hour. It's going to remain in your stomach. Jeden až jeden a pol hodiny to ostáva v čreva. So one hour, imagine being churned up in the stomach. A jednu hodinu si robí tú svoju robotu v čreva. Then passing through and moving to the intestines. A potom ide do, pardon, ostáva v žalotku a potom cestuje do čreva. So, What, when is it good to take? A kedy je dobre to použiť? Ideally, if you take it an hour before your food. Buď to vezmeme nejakú hodinu pred tým, ako jeme. Pred... Now, that is good. Why? Je to dobre. A prečo? Because when you are going to eat food. Lebo ak idete jesť nejaké jedlo. Before the food goes in. Pred tým, ako je to ide dovnútra. If you send something that cleans up the system. Ak tam dáte niečo, čo vyčistí ten systém, you're actually sending up something that opens up the whole canal. Vlastne tam pošlete niečo, čo vyčistí celý kanál. If you do this, you can never ever have constipation. Ak toto urobíte, nemôžete dostať záku. Because microvegi is not constipating. Lebo microvegi rozhodne nie je niečo, čo spôsobuje záku. And if your first part of your food a prvá časť vašho jedla je ako like microvegi, then your first part of your stool is also potom prvá microvegi. časť vašej stolice je tiež microvegi. Now for example, napríklad, okay, let's see. Now, if this is the bonus of microvegi, or you can say, we say, microvegi going in, ok, takže to je microvegi, MV, this is going to easily pass through. Jednoducho prejde. Because it is fiber, it's alkaline, it's got aromatic oils, so definitely it's going to pass through very easily. Určite prejde veľmi ľahko. So while it goes and travels, takže kým ide a cestuje, and settles in your colon, a dojde, usilí sa vo vašom čreve, this should be your primary first forming stool form. Your first stool. To bude vaša prvá stolica potom aj. So this will, this will blow, go and settle here. Lebo pôjde sem a tam si to sa usadí. 
Then your food comes and then it potom príde vaše jedlo. Comes and collects later here. Okay? Now, because this is alkaline, soft, easy to pass. Je to alkalické, meké a ľahké to prejde. It can actually pass through your anal canal. Ľahko to vidie cez konečný. Easy, relieving your constipation. A tým pádom uvoľní vašu zápku. Okay, this is very, very important. Je to veľmi dôležité. So, taking it before food is like clearing up the path. A tým, že to vezmete pred jedlom, je to ako čistenie cesty dopred. The second benefit of taking it before food. Druhá výhoda, ak to vezmete pred jedlom. Remember, I told you there are these finger-like projections. Pamätáte si, že som hovoril o tých klkoch, čo sú na prvách. So, when this bolus is going to travel here, keď tady cestuje to jedlo, it's cleaning up. Čistí to, mikrovačik, keď ide dane. And because it is cleaned up the whole system, a tým, že je vyčistený ten systém, when you're going to eat your food, keď vy idete jesť vaše jedlo, your food is now going to be absorbed better. Vaše jedlo je potom lepšie vstriebávané. Yeah? So doing it regularly. A ak to robíte pravidelne, 3 months, 6 months, 3 mesiace, 6 mesiacov, you'll train your system vytrenujete svoj systém. So that it now knows how to get back its motion. Takže vie, ako tie pohyby si zabezpečiť. Si like you... Lepšie funguje. Like you have your heartbeat. Tak ako máte tie srdca. That is your life, okay? To je váš život. Similarly. Podobne. Peristalsis is also your life. Aj peristaltika čier je váš život. When your peristalsis stops, ak sa peristaltika pojím vašich čriev zastaví, it could trigger the stopping of your heart too. Môže vyvolať aj zastavenie srdca. So when you see in old age, keď v pokročilom veku vidíte, the process of peristalsis reduces. Že sa spomaluje pohyb čriev. So what is peristalsis? Čo je peristaltika? See like I now swallow. Napríklad teraz pregognem. It's like what Jaro does. To je ako Jaro robil, keď stancoval teraz pretižňu v Taliansku. Čiže ide takto. A celý ten pohyb prechádza krížom až po koniec. A ten tok by mal byť pravidelný a priebežný, stále. Never suffer from constipation. A ak to tak funguje, nikdy netrpíte na závku. That could be worse than a heart condition. A lebo ak by sa to zastavilo, zhorší to stav srdca. Ok, now, there are different ways. You can, once you know the philosophy of the product, keď viete filozofiu produktu, I'm sure you can play it along and you can take it in different forms. Verím, že si nájdete spôsoby, rôzne spôsoby, ako to užívať. For a little more cleaning effect of, you know, ste zlepšili tie efekty čistenia. Especially if you have conditions of inflammatory conditions of your bowel. Obzvlášť, ak viete, že vaše čreva sú zapálené. Your body joint pains. Ak máte nejaké bolesti v kolbo. Yeah, so definitely combining with Morinzi. A určite kombinácia s Morinzi. Will help. Pomôže. Children suffering from parasites in their stomach. Deti, ktoré trpia na parazity. Not eating well, having constipation. Dobre, majú zápku. Skin condition. Majú zlú pokošku. Combine it with Morinzi. Kombinujte s Morinzi. So, one scoop, water, Morinzi. Takže, jedna odmerka, voda, Morinzi. Yeah. Then you can change it up. Môžete to zmeniť. Add Rosel. A pridať Rosel. When you're suffering from too much of acidic complaints, acidity, burning, too. Ak máte veľa kyslosti. So, this combination with Rosel is much better. Kombinácia s Rosel je lepšia ešte. Especially urinary conditions, like you have a UTI, very often you get UTI. Takisto aj s môčením, ak máte problémy. It's a fantastic combination. Je to výborná kombinácia. For piles, fissures, fissulas. Again, hemorrhoids. Problemy s hemorrhoidmi. You can combine it with Rosel. Kombinujte s Rosel. Rosel is very, very mild and it's like an antacid. Rosel je veľmi jemný. Yeah, it reduces your body temperature, the heat. Znišuje teplotu tela. So, then you can combine it sometimes with Codipine. Niekedy si to môžete skombinovať s Codipine. Too lethargic, too tired. Ak ste príliš letargický, unavený. A sticky gut. Je tam také lepkavé zanesené črevo. Loss of appetite. 
strátite chuť do jedla. So then you can uh, use something like Codipan that actually can stimulate the system. You can do whatever you want once you know the philosophy. If you like juices, different juices, you can mix it with your fruit juice, whatever you like. Because these are just carriers of the purpose that you're going to send. Yeah. So now you know that it is good for you. You know that it needs to be cleaned. If you're eating two meals a day, make it a point to take it two times a day. If you're taking three meals a day, make it three times a day. That is the best way where you can actually supplement yourself. From people who are suffering from a condition already, like constipation. Along with you taking it three times, also take it every night before you sleep. In the night, the system works very differently. Your body works differently. Because you're lying flat, the whole process is different. So a lot of fibers in the night can actually do a better clean work. So that early morning when you wake up, you need to wake up not from the alarm clock. You need to wake up from your nature's call. If that happens, you have triggered the whole system. We, 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 we define optimum health. Optimum health. That when you are sleeping and you wake up in the morning, because your system has woken you up, because your system first wakes up and then wakes you up. But 99% of the people today wake up and then try to wake up the system. Okay, so add it with your your cereals in the morning breakfast. I'm sure you're a good bunch of people. They make a lot of things here. Eh? So next time you might share something with me next time. That yeah. So, what do you do? Keep it in a cool and dry place. That's the way you store it. Now, Diseases of the digestive system, we saw. One good product. If we consume every day. For ourselves and for our family. The 75% of the diseases that are there. We can prevent ourselves from that. Because if you are suffering from any of these diseases, it's only because you have a blocked colon or something. Or your sewage system is not good. Or your sewage system. Your, uh, the cleaning system. Yeah. Now, diseases of the colon. Because this is a major concern. You know, I said appendicitis. What is the treatment? They remove it off. Then when you go here, you, you have Crohn's disease. Then you go up, you could have adhesions, I said. When they stick intestines. Yeah. Then you go here. Because the food is there, you get ulcers there. And you have ulcerative colitis. How do you find a person who actually has ulcerative colitis? You know, you can find it on from his face. He'll be like this always. 
tak to robia vždy. Because there is continuous pain happening inside. Lebo majú neustálu bolesť vnútri. And he lives with that pain, you know. A oni žijú s touto bolesťou. And that is, you can find them, you know, that oh, these people are actually suffering. A vy viete podľa toho nájsť a spoznať. It's a very bad condition. Je to veľmi zlý stav. Diverticulitis. Diverticulitida. Tak to sa to... Yeah, then again. You can go down, you can have infections. Infekcia môže byť v čreva, bakteriálna. Very common is inflammation of the colon, colitis. Veľmi častá je kolitida, zápal čreva. But what do we do? We pop a pill for pain. A čo robíme? Dáme si tabletku. But we need to see that if this is the reason. A tu potrebujeme vidieť tú príčinu. If you're having long standing constipation. Ak máte dlhodobú zápku. Better check yourself. With the colonoscopy. You could be seeding a cancer. If anybody in your family was ever detected with colon cancer. The probability of you having is much, much, much higher. The reason is not genes only. Dôvodom nie sú gény, ale... The reason is the habits that you have inherited. Dôvodom sú tie zvyky, ktoré vy preveznete. Yeah. So, polyps... Polypy. And then conditions of the rectum. A konečník. So, when... If your colon is affected, what else can be affected? A keď sú čreba ovplyvnené, čo ešte môže byť ovplyvnené? Now today they are... They realize the importance of a good colon cleanse. Dnes si uvedomujeme potrebu čistenia čriev a čistí čriev. If your colon is unhealthy, lebo ak vaše čreva sú nečisté, nezdravé, you are prone for allergies. Máte sklon k alergiám. You, like, very cough, very often you might get an infection. Ľahko získate infekciu. Yeah, could be nasal, respiratory infections. Respiračné, dýchacie problémy. Again, related to this, okay? A znova sa to vzťahuje na to isté, na čreba. So the respiratory system is also affected. Takže aj dýchací systém je ovplyvnený. Astma. Astma to ovplyvňuje. With your stomach, abdominal pain. Ak sú bolesti v ruchu. Burping, bloating. Ak si drgáte často. Then your reflux and heartburn. Reflux máte. Related to women, your vaginal complaints. Mosu, ženy sa môžu stiažovať na vajčníky. Very common yeast infections. Veľmi častá je infekcia. Urinary bladder infections, UTI. Infekcia močového traktu. Yeah, it's also said to be related to your varicose veins. Takisto to vplyvňuje problémy so žilami. Yeah, arthritis. Artritidu. Muscle aches, psoriasis. Bolesti svalov, psoriazu. Your skin condition like eczema. Eczemi. Ako v akom stave je vás a vaša pokoška. Remember I said there's a huge network of nerve fibers. Spomente si, že som spomínal o rozpusie nervov. So, unclean gut could be the result of your cause of your depression. A to, že nemáte v poriadku čreba, môže spôsobovať aj vaše depresie. For sure, chronic fatigue syndrome. Určite syndrom chronické únavy. Major emotional disorders, psychological problems. Hlavne psychologické problémy. Because of the gut. Sú spôsobené problémami s trebami. Lack of coordination. Nedostatok koordinácie. Concentration. Koncentrácie. Mood swings and irritability related to the gut. Keď niekto je príliš ľahko ho rozšulite, má zmeny nálady. Colon, constipation, diarrhea, gas. Zapka, hnačka, plinatosť. Irritable bowel syndrome, anemia. Anemia. I told you, remember, that your big large intestine absorbs nutrients. Pamätáte si, že veľké hrubé črevo absorbuje. Yeah, so the small intestine, sorry, which absorbs nutrients. Veľké črevo absorbuje vyžíne látky. Mycovegy has iron in it. A mycovegy má v sebe železo. Again, to deal with Nutritional anemia. A má to niečo spoločné s anemiou a podvýživou. So malnutrition. Takže ak nikto nemá čreva v poriadku, trpí podvýživou. So many conditions you can see. Je tam veľa rôznych zlých stavov. Even your feet, like cold extremities is related to your colon. A dokonca aj keď niekto má studené končatiny, tak aj to sa môže vzťahovať na čreva. Today there are many ways in which they go for a colon cleanse. Dnes je veľa ciest, ako ľudia si dávajú čistí čreva. Some use hydrotherapy. 
Yeah. Some that, that's kind of a mechanical cleanse. Right? So, uh, some use purgatives. But those all are aggressive methods. If you want to sync with the normal physiology of a body, you need to use a simple tool. Eat diet rich in fibers. Add spices in your food. At least 60% of your food should be alkaline. If, if you can manage that, then you don't need anything else. But if you cannot, and you eat bread, you take lactose, you eat sugar, so definitely you need something that can clean it up. And that's where Michael Veggie helps. Okay, it helps the body detoxify by gently cleansing the digestive tracts. Yeah, now, obesity is a global problem. How and how do I find my my you know I'm not obese and I'm good? So there is a very simple rule. Whatever is your height, divide it by two. So half of it. Okay, that should be your actually waist size. From belly button, okay? <laughs> no, that is it. That is it. Okay? That is said to be a healthy system. You know, there is a layer of fat called as omentum. This is a storehouse. It keeps on storing your fat. It doesn't lie on the top, it is below the muscles. And when it actually starts growing up, it actually compresses your colon, your liver, your spleen, so it pushes all the organs. And their function decreases. It's very important to get your waist size back. So, so you, you need to plan for a weight loss program. If you want. Mycology is rich as a food. You can do dieting, fasting. Use, using mycology as a food. Yeah. So definitely you can use it for as a substitute for meals. Plan a nice weight loss program for yourself. Exercise. Diet. Yeah. And add microvegi into it. You'll see how your colon cleans up. You see how your hunger craving goes down. You'll see how your system starts using up the accumulated fat. Around the world I've seen many people testimony for the effect of Microvegi in weight loss. Just supplementing it as a food. So whatever basic nutrients you need, you get it from Microvegi. Cholesterol free, sugar free. Yeah? So definitely you can start yourself or somebody else on this program.
Takže môžete začať aj vy tento program, aj niekto iný. OK. OK, that's a game. I always ended up with this picture, I like this picture. On má rád tento obrázok, takže s ním často končí prezentácie. So, Michael Veggie is a very powerful fiber supplement. Je to veľmi silný doplnok which needs to be consumed sometimes or daily. A čo myslíte, mal by sa používať niekedy alebo denne? Daily. And it should be consumed only people who have problem or for everyone? Mali by ho konzumovať iba ľudia, ktorí majú problém alebo všetci? Všetci. I suggest before taking anything else ja navrhujem predtým, ako užijete čokoľvek iné first get your system cleaned up Najprv si čistíte svoj systém. Like an artist can paint only on a blank canvas. Takisto ako maliar môže malovať iba na čisté biele plátno. You can set your healing system only when your gut is clean. Môžete nastaviť svoj samotný riečený systém iba vtedy, ak vaše čreva sú vyčistené. If you have not even tried Mycovegy, keď ste ani nevyskúšali Mycovegy, now that you know what it is, Teraz viete, čo obsahuje. What it can do. Čo môže urobiť. I tell you. A ja vám hovorím. Then give it a try. Skúste to. Yeah, it is Dr. Lim's one of the most favorite products. Je to jeden z najobľúbenejších produktov Dr. Lima. And if you see the combinations that he has done. A ak sa pozriete na tú kombináciu, ktorú tam naskladal. He is definitely of a man who is passionate about giving help. Je to určite kombinácia, ktorá je od človeka, ktorý má vášeň pre zdravie. So, thank you so much again. Ďakujem vám ešte raz, veľmi pekne. I have taught you something. Ja som vás niečo naučil. I hope you learn something. Ja dúfam, že vy mňa niečo naučíte. And you teach someone. A vy sa niečo naučíte a naučíte aj iné. It is very important that we become teachers for someone. Je veľmi dôležité, že každý z vás, z nás sa stane učiteľom niekoho iného. If you have any doubts, ak máte akýkoľvek pochybnosti, if you have any questions, ak máte akýkoľvek otázky, always get them answered. Vždy ich dostanete zodpovedané. And then go on passing the message. A potom odozdávajte odkaz ďalej. So I'm ready for questions. Takže som pripravený na otázky.